Oh, Carlin, we had the first presidential debate last night, and boy, was it important. Do you think it was a game changer? That remains to be seen, but the two early polls that we've had this morning both suggest that Romney did a very good job, that he won the debate by a mile, very impressive figures, and he even improved his favorability numbers in one poll so that he's actually got higher favorability numbers than Barack Obama. What do you think? I think you're right that we don't know yet if it's a game changer, but I think it was a game saver. Mitt Romney has been down on his heels for two weeks. The 47% comments were hurting him, both through the paid media that Obama was running and through the news reports. And the Mitt Romney who came last night wouldn't hurt a fly. He's somebody who's kind, he's generous, he understands what America is about in terms of its principles. And I think that is the start of a campaign that can resurrect itself, but it certainly saved him from going into the abyss of a candidate who couldn't win. There was one particular moment in the debate last night where he talked about his economic policies and the rich. Let's go to the tape. High income people are doing just fine in this economy. They'll do fine whether you're president or I am. The people who are having the hard time right now are middle income Americans. Under the president's policies, middle income Americans have been buried. They're, they're just being crushed. Middle income Americans have seen their income come down by $4,300. This, this is a tax in and of itself. I'll call it the economy tax. That I thought was a particularly important moment. He showed empathy with people in the middle class with how much the middle class has been hurting. Of course, Obama came back with something quite different. Let's see the clip. When you add up all the loopholes and deductions that upper income individuals uh, can, are currently taking advantage of, you take those all away. You don't come close to paying for $5 trillion in tax cuts and $2 trillion in additional military spending. And that's why independent studies looking at this said the only way to meet Governor Romney's pledge of not reducing the deficit or, or, or not uh, adding to the deficit is by burdening middle class families. The average middle class family with children would pay about $2,000 more. Clearly, uh, each person's base is going to uh, resonate and agree with that person's uh, sentiments. What do you think about the few people who are genuinely in the middle who have moved back and forth or have been undecided in recent weeks? Does one candidate seem to address their concerns better than the other? I think Romney addressed their concerns better last night, and that's what the polls did show this morning. But I thought what was so interesting about last night, and again, we have a clip on this, is you know, a fundamentally different view about the role of government, where I think, once again, Romney did quite well. Let's look at that clip. The role of government. First, life and liberty. We have a responsibility to protect the lives and liberties of our people, and that means a military second to none. I do not believe in cutting our military. I believe in maintaining the strength of America's military. Second, in that line that says we are endowed by our creator with our rights, I believe we must maintain our commitment to religious tolerance and freedom in this country. That statement also says that we are endowed by our Creator with the right to pursue happiness as we choose. I interpret that as, one, making sure that those people who are less fortunate and can't care for themselves are cared by, by one another. But we also believe in maintaining for individuals the right to pursue their dreams and not to have the government substitute itself for the rights of free individuals. And what we're seeing right now is, in my view, a, a trickle-down government approach. This was clearly Romney's best moment. It was the one that he articulated the principles that people from the center to the right uh, believe very deeply. And it's something where he came across as calm, came across as reasonable. He expressed empathy, but also the opportunity for people who wanted more from life to go ahead and do it. That's really the, what the Republican base has wanted. It's what the people dissatisfied with President Obama want to hear. And it's the first time they've really heard Mitt Romney say that in language they can understand that's more evocative than statistical. Again, a very strong debate performance, I think, for Mr. Romney last night. We'll see if it continues. Yes.